Hey yo, what's up guys? It's Lion King Zachary. Today I'm making a video about something that happened to me yesterday. You know, like uh, I usually do. Uh, that's usually how I get my ideas. I just talk with people, do my daily things, work, work and stuff, talk with people, and just ideas just come up as long as I talk. You know, they, they it just comes to my mind. And I realized things I didn't realize before. And if maybe I did, like the subject of today, but I couldn't even apply it. And now that I have, I have a concrete example of it, I can truly use it. Because now I have the experience behind it. Yesterday I was talking with my uh, co-worker. I was um, training him on uh, something that uh, I'm pretty much the best at at my... Uh, supermarket job the first time i i saw him and we we talked i thought he wasn't you know a real good worker he seemed kind of lazy and i i pretty much assumed a lot of things before truly knowing him and yesterday i got to talk to him to, for like two to three hours maybe a bit more i'm not really sure but we had a great conversation overall because, you know, I was just training him. So we were only the boat of us, you know, on the the thing I'm really good at because normally it's a solo job. But since I'm training him, I have to show him my ways. So, yeah, we talk about subjects like gym, trying to improve uh, drugs, school. And uh, I, I just found that... He was kind of more like my old self, like innocent, still pure, and uh, goalless. And I really found it funny that I judged him so quick when the reality of it is, is just that I grew so much that I don't even see how much I've, I've grown. Like in the past year or two. Because I was in that same state just uh, not that long ago. And you know, just having that, that small push could have projected me forward like way earlier. And that's something I don't realize. And I'm really glad I got to talk to him because he's like four years younger than me. And I can, you know, like I said, project him into his greater self at an even younger age than I was, like three years before that's pretty fucking great that's because since time is the most valuable asset everyone has because it's the only thing you, you never get back so starting to improve earlier has to be the greatest thing so we talked we talked uh, a shit ton and uh, i truly had fun it made me realize that I should never judge people before truly knowing them. Like knowing them personally, what they do, what they aspire to. And just talking with others that you, you might think are, you know, older. But, you know, they're going to see you down and put you down because they, they know more than you. But I've just done the complete opposite of it. I just... I knew what field he was he was studying in, so I just told him, you you shouldn't be, you know, um, just focusing on having a job and nine to five. You should be working on. You should be thinking about working only on yourself, only on yourself, creating projects, especially since it's j digital. You can sell it infinite amount of time online, so it's like. This resource that you can't you can't get a, to the bottom of because there's an infinite amount. It's only data. It's it's uh, digital. It's not physical. There's no labor put into it. The only labor is the one you put yourself. And that's something I didn't know back then. You know, I didn't think about the digital market, how important it was. You know, I had it in front of me, but I didn't, I didn't think deep enough. Even though it's always been right in front of me with music, you know, Apple Store, one dollar a song, antivirus, video games, uh, applications, you know, all that stuff. It's it's always been there. You know, widgets, all that crazy shit. There's so much room 
for sales online. There's an infinite number of sales. And you create that product and it's it's done deal. You just let it sit, you know it's there, you advertise it and it just makes bank. There's no down payment, there's nothing related to that. There's no gestion. You only you only earn from it. You created that product, you always earn from it because you don't have to recreate it. So yeah, I was really glad that I could get this conversation because it made me realize how ignorant I, I was. I didn't really think true about the stuff I did. I just did it because I enjoyed them. But now that I have this retrospective and I can see so, some it, I, I can see that retrospective into someone that I used to be like, it's really maddening. And you know, I don't even think I'm that special, you know, but this guy made me feel like I was someone to look up to. Even though I, I think I'm pretty just average. You know, I'm trying to improve. I go to the gym. Uh, I work a lot. Like, uh, I want to work 60 hours a, a week. And now with YouTube videos, I work, let's say, two hours a day so 14 plus 13 plus 40 if I can even consider this work but 27 plus 40 67 that's a lot of work or work hours but I really enjoy it I don't I don't spit on it because there's only finite amount of time on this earth and you gotta enjoy every second truly you got to fix your mood so you enjoy everything. You, you can't use something or consume to be happy. That's just a forsaken path. Because that's really what he showed me. Because he has all of these goals. But he prioritizes something that's instant. That's not going to last it, last him forever. That's not going to benefit him forever. It's only going to benefit him for like tonight. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lit. Or, you know, the, the day uh, it happens, you know. It's just going to benefit, benefit him then. Because uh, I've talked to him about when I reached Golden League. And uh, he, he really understood it. You know, we talked about um, MDMA. And how it affects a penis. App no, but not a penis. That's something else. Happiness. And, you know, the the one time I, I took some, I was so happy. I was feeling at my peak of what I got from League of Legends. Se no, not seven years, but five to six years of hard work trying to improve all the time. I finally get gold. I'm at, oh, my God, I was feeling so fucking great, guys. Jesus. I, I didn't even want to play anymore. I just had it. Damn, man, I, I clapped some cheeks, got an incredible game to finish it off, and uh, I just felt at my peak. It was amazing. And, you know, one $10 pill can do the exact same thing. It's crazy. It shouldn't be. Like, I, I worked five to six years to earn that, to earn that happiness. Fucking five to $10, man, and I can get it like that? Yo, that's, that's wrong. When I when I uh, was uh, on the effects, I wasn't even really thinking about how happy I was. I was thinking about how am I this happy? Why am I? This isn't normal. I I I can relate to why this is addictive because it's so powerful without even having to do anything. Like I was pretty happy when I finished my first video. It took me four hours. I was done with the editing. I spoke my mind. And it was finally out there. Finally. Because that's really what I always wanted to do. Not having anything on my shoulders. No burden. Be Being ready to die at any day. Because my message is out there. It's out, it's out there. So I don't, I don't fear dying anymore. I know it's going to happen. And I've done what I had to do. Now it's only moving forward. Trying to improve. And get better. But... I've done what I had to do. I can push out more. And you know, that's what I should do to uh, spread the message. But I, I am confident that what I that what I say is powerful enough. And 
smart enough to push people forward. So to sum it up, it's uh, only about not judging others before truly knowing them. Because you don't know them. You may think you know them, but to really know what they think, how they view the world, what they want to do in it, their ambitions, you got to talk to them for a, a long duration and get to their core ideas. Because I always kind of associated with people who like One Piece because it's my favorite manga. I think it's about freedom, liberation, being a free spirit. But at my supermarket job, I've found two of them that are manga readers up to date and we don't think the same whatsoever. It shocks me. Like, before that, like, okay, I just met three of them, but two of them I would align with. You know, just one of them was uh, really older, so, you know, that's probably why I didn't even think about doing it. So I didn't even take the chance. But the two guys at my supermarket that do, you know, watch the same show, I I just can't connect with them because we don't think the same. Like, the, the important parts about One Piece that I really value, they just passed on over like it's nothing. Sanji always trying to save food. I don't give a fuck about that. I do. I really do. I want to save every bit of food I can save. But... Do they care? Absolutely not. They value their time more, even though, you know, they work a 9 to 5, so it's going to end at 5 anyways. They might do it faster, but they're going to have to end at 5 anyways, so might as well do your best. So, people may have the same, people may have the same taste as you, but they don't have the same opinions of it. They have different perspectives. They've grown from different families. They've grown from different neighborhoods. They had different friends. They didn't have the same exposure. So they don't see the things you value the same. So that's why you should never judge people before knowing their, their book. Because you don't know what they're about. Like I really enjoy talking with those two uh, One Piece guys. But when it, it goes out of anime and manga, it, I don't really like to. I really don't. Like, uh, maybe we talk games, but even then, when we talk about games, I don't enjoy it. Because we don't see the same values in people. So yeah, that's going to be it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. Really helps. Uh, and yeah, give your opinions in the comment. Because uh, I really want to hear your perspective. It really matters to me. Hearing others' opinions can only improve your own perspective and and make you a better person have a great one eat well sleep well rest well train well and uh yeah have a good one peace